We're rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, we're rolling? Did that Molly I spiked you with finally kick in? Rolling, 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 rolling. That's a yes. That's a yes. Rolling, 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 rolling. Are you stuck at Permafried, Jared? <laughs> rolling. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you Dickie Dine Show people? Watchers? That viewers. felt weird. Dickie Dine Show people. <laughs> yeah, it feels a little like it feels hateful. A, that's felt, that felt a little prejudiced. You people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What's you up, Dickie Diners? Welcome to the Dickie Dine Show today. We're hanging out and we're doing fun stuff, just like always. Uh, Austin has a fun little fun thing. Little. Uh, if you saw the Metal Trivia episode that we did uh, last week or whenever it, it, ca- if it you came saw out, it. <laughs> if you saw it, whenever it came out, he's doing a part two now. Yeah, yep. So in the first one, I had a bunch of questions for him, and then now he has a bunch of questions for me. About to metal trivia, Jared's ass. So we'll see how metal I am and how much of a poser. Well, don't I say that because I think I failed my. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We can both be posers. I'm That's a pre poser. Play along at home with us, and uh, yeah, have fun. And this is metal trivia, so don't think there's going to be any core facts in here, because yeah. that's not real. No core. Zero core. Zero core. Metal is no core. All right, the first one. Ooh. Which is your favorite metal core? <laughs> it's not even trivia. Is it A? <laughs> okay, all right, let's get into this. All right. Get all the sillies out. We don't want to be funny in this video. This okay. is just here. We're here for learning. This is factual. Factual learning. Learning. Factual. It's funny that you say factual because the first one, what is Slayer's oh. name rumored to stand for in acronym terms? Okay. Is it, I almost just let you like go and answer. <laughs> <I just> didn't <laughs> do the multiple choice. <laughs> okay. Is it A, Satan lives as you enter rapture? Mm-hmm. Is it B, Sisyphus lends a yoke in trapping reality? Oh. Uh, I had to look up what a yolk was. It's like a thing that you put on animals and it <laughs> creates like gardens. Like egg yolk? You <laughs> no, rub not egg yolk. yolk on animals? It's a yolk. <laughs> uh, is it C? Covered in eggs. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like it's the most foul thing I can think of. Uh, is it C? Satan laughs as you eternally rot. Okay. Or is it D? Satan leers and yawns, eating resplendent. <laughs> D, final answer. Uh, C, final answer. C, final answer? Yes. That is right. Yes. Did you know that? I did know that. (laughs) Well, at least you got to hear all my silly (laughs) creations. What was the second one? Sisyphus lends a yoke in trapping reality. I was like, Sisyphus. Like... (laughs) At first, when you said that, I was like, "Isn't that like a like an STD?" But I think that's syphilis. <laughs> syphilis. <laughs> like, <laughs> the great god syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you nailed that one. Did you get it? Uh, All right, number two. Which of these instances occurred in Ozzy Osbourne's official memoirs? Mm-hmm. Was it A? He brought a fan up on stage and dren- drenched them in fake pig's blood, mm-hmm. and then tossed them into a crowd surf scenario. Was it B? He drunkenly brought a groupie back to his room after a gig, completely forgetting his wife was also staying in this room, and she proceeded to flip out and destroy the room. (laughs) (laughs) Was it C? (laughs) He was drunk and tried to fuel up his tour van by opening the storage compartments on the outside of the bus and soaking the crew's luggage with gasoline. (laughs) Or was it D? He would order a ton of food on his riders and not allow the crew to eat because he thought it was funny. All of the above. <laughs> Dude, I almost did that for this too. <laughs> I believe it's C. C? I think it's C. The it's a, tour, tour van? Yeah, I think it's either A or C, but I'm going to say C. Final answer? Final answer. It was B. B. He brought okay. a groupie back to his room, forgetting his wife was on tour with him. That's the most rock star shit I did, ever. You walk to the room with like a just drug as shit, a girl half naked, and you're like, Sharon, <laughs> why are you here? Damn, okay. But, uh, okay that was pretty okay. funny. References official memoirs that she thrashed the room, destroyed a picture on the wall. For some reason, I was thinking B is like too rock star. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But like, hey. Right, yeah, the groupy thing of like, okay, yeah, of course he would do that. Yeah, right. <clears throat> all right. That's good. Okay. <laughs> I got one on the board. I checked right, the board. Right. It's good. Number three. Iron Maiden wrote the song To Tame a Land about which famous book series? Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's going to be tough. I don't know. I don't think I know this one. Is it A, The Dark Tower? Mm-hmm. B, Game of Thrones? C, Dune? Or mm. D, The Pillars of the Earth? Ooh. Ooh, baby. I don't know. I actually don't one. know that one. Um, 
I want to say, I'm going to say A. Dark, a? Dark Tower. Dark, Dark, Dark Tower by Stephen King? Yeah. That is incorrect. Uh, it is Dune. I was going to say Dune second. I was either A, it was either Dark Tower or Dune, because Game of Thrones would have made sense. And then what was the other one? Uh, the Pillars of the Earth. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, that uh, I yeah I tried to throw in one that another one that had because the song is to tame a land and Dune is like all landscape. So I was like, well that uh, might, that might be too obvious. Yeah, so I tried to throw yeah. another one in that mm. was like about the land and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that was a little throw, little throw off. But this was a fun little tidbit too. Uh, the band actually reached out to the author of Dune and like asked if they could write a song about it and name it Dune. And the his manager replied and said that the author of the book doesn't like rock, especially heavy metal, so he would not like the song to be called Dune. <laughs> and so they still wrote the song, but they changed the name <laughs> to Tame a Land. Damn. It's very funny, like being like a huge fan, and you're like, dude, we wrote this song in our famous rock yeah. band, and he's like, I don't care. <laughs> Do not call it Dune. <laughs> If you were jazz, maybe. <laughs> yeah, if you were maybe. a different genre. <laughs> That's really funny. Very funny. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right, number That's four. Which of these is true about Pantera's album artwork for Vulgar Display of Power? Mm -hmm. Is it A, they paid a fan $300 to let Dimebag punch him until they got the shot? Mm. B, it is a composite using a hand model fist and a random guy whipping his head back and forth. Was it C, it was a fan submitted photo that was taken at a backyard wrestling event scored by Pantera. Mm. Or was it D? It was made with clay by a professional pumpkin carver. A, I think it's A. It's A. I think it's A. They paid a fan $300. Yeah. That is incorrect. Mm. That, that is, is the most Pantera mm, shit ever. And that's the rumor is that everyone, like, that's like the what everyone thinks happened yeah. is that one. That one's like the most popular, like, theory. But doing some deep diving, it is C. Or I'm sorry, it was B. Uh, it's a composite using a hand model fist and a random guy. So, really? Yeah. So the the label oh, wow. did the album artwork for them, and they were like, "What do you want it to be?" And they just said, "We want it to be like you know, just a, a display of power, like something vulgar yeah. and just graphic." And like, so they sent a boxing, like a boxer hitting somebody, and they they didn't like it. And then they sent this back, and it was just some random guy that they had found. So I have heard, I heard that <clears> it was like. They yeah, like like they were mm -hmm. literally hitting somebody. Yeah, and they'd pay him like yeah, three hundred or per punch, which or is something. also the most Pantera mm -hmm. shit ever. Right? Yeah. Here's three hundred bucks. Can we punch you? Fuck yeah, dude! Dude, of course, yeah, it, fuck dude. yeah! Right? That should be the fucking story because yeah. it's the most Pantera. Yeah, the, the the rumor too that the they paid the guy ten dollars per punch by the label, but that's that's also not true. That's just <laughs> floating around. <laughs> Damn, I'm not I'm not doing well. I'm that one's hard these. though because you would, a was like that should have yeah, been that, that should feel be like the right that would one. Make sense, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Also, too, these are obscure. I had to dive for all these, so yeah. don't be surprised if you're not getting them. These are not very well known. Okay. Number five. Which of these legendary metal singers owns a barber shop? Is it A, Michael Bishop of Gwar? Oh. B, Nurgle of Behemoth? That would be wild. C, Mike Patton of Faith No More and Mr. Bungle? Or is it D, Jamie Hooper of Three Inches of Blood? Ooh. This one's, a little, this one's pretty tough. Yeah, that's... Because all those would kind of be funny if they owned a barber right. shop. Yeah. Is it just like <laughs> Nurgle with like... I, I, full garb. Just I, say, I don't know if he has here. super long hair or if he's bald now. I don't remember. Dude, on, yeah, honestly, is is, uh, is being bald the like greatest flex as a barber or like concerning? Uh, yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> like, is he so, he's so good. He doesn't even... <laughs> he's cut his hair to beyond... He's trained for it's years. never come back. Or is it just like, yeah, I can't show people my haircuts because I'm shit at it. Um... I, ooh, that's that's a tough one. such a funny name. I don't I don't know. Um, I would guess I don't know three inches of blood, maybe three inches of blood. Yeah, but yeah. Locking it in. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna say three. Incorrect. It was Nurgle. Was it? <laughs> it's Nurgle. Are you it's Nurgle. Nurgle opened a barber shop and owns one. <laughs> Which is so, he'd be my last guest on this list, dude. I would have thought Mike Patton. Which is funny because when you said it, I laughed. I was like, right. Nurgle, that'd be really yeah, of funny. Course. And then he's just like, yeah, it was him. It, it was, was like, Nurgle. Jesus, dude. Nurgle all along. All right, number six. This is, this is tough. This is tough. Yeah, these are really tough. Mm -hmm. Which guest vocalist is uncredited on a Day to Remember song, Welcome to the Family? Is it A, Frankie Palmieri from Amir? B, Trevor Wentworth from Our Last Night? C, Winston McCall from Parkway Drive, or D, Vincent Bennett from The Acacia Strain? How does that song go? Uh, that's, a, that's the Out Came the Wolves one. 
Oh. Oh, time the walls. Oh, God. Welcome to... Not credited. Yeah, they're uncredited. So then how would you know who it was? Uh, (laughs) That's funny. That's funny. Well, one, uh, you recognize the voice, and two, uh, it's... It's been like found out like years later, like he came forward about oh, I his see. feature. I see. And yeah, I think it was just like a label thing. The label didn't want him on there without getting compensated and mm. he wanted to do it for them. So he just did uncredited. Hmm. <laughs> My initial thought is either Winston or uh, Vincent. Okay. Okay. One of those two, I think Good it calls. is. Yeah. The, um, the lows kind of make sense. Yeah. Like, out of those, the most similar to Jeremy. Oh, <sighs> Dude, coin, I don't. Coin flip. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Um, it was Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit, dude. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Vincent. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Yay! Good, good job. Good job. Yeah, that was a. Uh, there was a lot of like old like post hardcore metalcore albums from that era that have a lot of yeah like uncredited features. Like I put uh, what was his. Trevor from our last night on here because he also did an uncredited feature on uh, the Devil Wears Prada's oh, album the, with Ruth, Roots Above. He was on Danger Wild Man. Oh, really? Yeah, one of the most popular songs. But he's like in one of the later verses. Oh. He has like a whole section, and but it's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes know. with screams because if it's yeah. not credited and you're not looking for it. Damn. Okay, that's yeah, little known fact. I guess, but I got it right. Yeah, good shit. Good shit. Even though it was a guess. <clears throat> Number seven. Which metalcore band did Post Malone audition for in high school? Crown the Empire. Is it Crown the Empire? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it A, Bless the Fall, B, Einstein Kills, C, Secrets, or D, Crown the Empire? Crown the Empire. Final answer? Final answer. You sure? I'm sure. It's Nurgle. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yes, it's D. It's, 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 it's Crown the Empire. You were correct. <laughs> it's all Nurgle, dude. It's all Nurgle. <laughs> it's Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's all Taylor. It's all, it's all Taylor, Taylor or Nurgle. That's the next one. Is it Taylor Swift or Beamus? <laughs> okay, number eight. You're on. You're on the comeback right now. Which famous metal musician is an avid apiarist? Apiarist. Yeah, like he owns it, apes. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You know, an apiary is uh, the thing that you put bees in when you're a beekeeper. Oh, like okay. Stacks. So, okay. so an apiarist is somebody that specifically does that, like not necessarily a beekeeper, but somebody mm. who helps and maintains the life of bees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I keep forgetting that I have to follow, ask you, like, list you those choices. So I'm like, go ahead, guess. Just take a raw dog guess. No help. Just go for it. Um, Is it A, Dave Mustaine, Megan Death? Is it B, Chad Gray, Mudvayne? Mm. Is it C, Tatiana Schmeluk, uh from Ginger? Or is it D, James Hetfield from Metal Alica? <laughs> Dave Mustaine would be really funny. <laughs> He's just out there like changing beehives. That would be really funny. Um, he says, I must sustain these bees. I must Dave Mustaine these bees. I don't know. Um, I'm going to guess Tatiana, maybe, because I have never even heard of any of these people doing any of that. Mm-hmm. And I'm not super familiar with Ginger, so maybe that's why. That's fair. I don't know. So I'm <clears> just going to say her. It's a fair like elimination of things. I really don't know, though. Final answer, Tatiana Smaluk. Sure. Uh, it is James uh, Hetfield. Really? Yeah, James Hetfield is a uh, avid B-boy. Really? <laughs> yeah, he loves me. There's actually a, there's a clip online, too, of... Uh, him and Joe, when he was on the podcast, they talked for like 30 uninterrupted minutes about bees. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a big bee boy, I guess. <laughs> loves loves to help the bees. Interesting. I didn't see that podcast. <clears throat> that's that's surprising. Right. That's a weird fact. That's kind of just like a strange fact about James. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Hmm, that's cool. <clears throat> I mean, people are into what they're into. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, I just want you guys to know the headache I went through to figure out how to pronounce Tatiana's last name. But <laughs> there was like went through like twenty interviews before somebody said her name. <laughs> I was like, "What? How do you say this, bro?" Uh, number nine. What horrible thing did Kurt Hammett witness as a young boy? Okay. So I think I said Kirk, not Kurt. Kirk. Uh, a. 
his stepfather stomping Kirk's pet turtle to death. Oh. B, his brother cutting the head off a squirrel he had trapped. C, his neighbor penetrating Kirk's dog. What? Or D, his teacher abusing Kirk's classmates. I hope it's not C. Well, we'll, we'll see. I we'll really see. hope it's not C. What the fuck? No, um, wait, you hope it's not C? I hope it's <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> Uh, also, if it's not C, you thought of that. Stop. <laughs> what was that puppy fucking? What was the other thing I made up that this happened to? Oh, man. Um, hmm. Say him one more time. A, his stepfather stomping Kirk's pet turtle to death. <laughs> Don't laugh at that, dude. Don't laugh. <laughs> B, his brother cutting the head off a squirrel Kirk had trapped. Mm -hmm. C, his neighbor penetrating Kirk's dog. Or D, his teacher abusing Kirk's classmates. C is so crazy that it's like probably real. Like it's so wacky that it's I would say it's too out there. It's too out there to be fake. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna say C. As fucked up as I don't see as much as I don't want it to be C, I'm gonna say it's C. You're voting for dog fuck? Yeah. Say it. Say you're voting for dog fuck. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying that. Unfortunately you're correct. <sighs> it Kirk what? Had, was looking for his dog and was walking through the neighborhood and huh. his perverted neighbor as he was described was penetrating his dog. That's and I'll omit the dog's name for privacy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Hey, hey, all I got, team, I didn't make that up. Wow. But I did make up the turtle stomping, which is also, which is pretty fucked up too. <laughs> but I had to match the energy, you know, how yeah, are you going to believe? You, can, one of the, you can't just have a bunch of tame shit and then dog fucking. <laughs> it's clearly yeah. that one. <laughs> wow. So that's terrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Because <laughs> it's bad. Especially as a, as a young kid. Yeah, just looking for your best bud. <laughs> just getting fucked by the neighbor. Jesus Christ. Moment of silence. <laughs> that dog's asshole. Uh, number 10, moving on. This is the last one also. <laughs> Which dog breed was got fucked? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> number 10. Which niche profession was Slayer guitarist Carrie King a part of? Okay. A, the Glass Blowers Association. B, show dog breeding. <laughs> C, <laughs> table and chair rental services. You or can't do show dog breeding <laughs> oh, after the last one. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Uh, or D, fish and wildlife preservationist. Um, what was C again? Table and chair rental services. <laughs> uh, I feel like A. I feel like A. The Glassblower Association? Yeah, because it's really weird. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's pretty like, weird. What did you used to do? Yeah, not just I was a glass. I was part of the association. You were part of the association, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to say A. But Lock it, it in A? It is just a guess. Yes, A. Show dog reading. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's show dog reading. Damn, was he Kirk's neighbor? <laughs> what are you going to show my dog? Breeding? You're going to show it breeding? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Damn. Yeah, it was a tough one. Those are, yeah, those were tough. Those mm. were like, like really obscure. Yeah, there's only a couple of this like, you, that you knew off the bat. So that was, I feel I feel good about that. I mean, yeah. obviously, I don't feel good that you didn't get them, but <laughs> that I was able to right. find some more obscure shit than just the stuff that's on the surface. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, I had to fact check a lot of these, obviously, because it's like... Well, that was the same, like, <laughs> when, yeah, when I was doing the part one, like, half of them were wrong. When I was looking them <laughs> right, up, and yeah. I was, like, looking for facts and just, like, trivia shit and metal shit, I'm like, it would say the answer, I'm like, I know that's not the right answer. <laughs> right. And so then like, I would look on. it up, and, like, like whoever wrote this article is just incorrect. And, like, if they're just so wrong. Funny. That was what the, the Slayer one that happened to me. I looked that one up, and it was there and then i was reading other articles and somebody was like that's not true yeah <laughs> the band didn't do that <laughs> they did. that was like their follow-up record they just had that as an acronym on the album but it wasn't like saying that this is what our band <laughs> stands yeah. for interesting yeah so it's, it's like an allegedly because other people are say that one of the original members or one of the members that joined made the thing so it, it's like believe that maybe he just says that he's like yeah this is what it's like just tells yeah. people that but yeah. the band's like stop saying that it's not true yeah. huh 
Well, there you have it. Metal Trivia Part 2. Hope you enjoyed it and played along at home. How many did you get correct? Did you get any of them correct? I think I got like two out of ten. I think you got like four. Did I get four? I don't even know. Four. I feel like yeah. I got every single one of them You got like two at the beginning and then t- another two and like the halfway point. Nice, nice. Over. Those are tricky. Uh, if you want to see a part three, hit the like button. Let us know in the comments down below. And check the link for merchandise and Patreon and all of our socials. So, tricky trivia. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Uh, check on your dogs, guys. <laughs> Make sure they're not fooling around. <laughs>